Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey and this is A-Level Maths Daily Tricky Question. This is a parametric integration question and it is uh, very difficult. It's right at the back end of a very recent paper. And if you do appreciate the content, please do like, subscribe, comment, and let's get into it. Here we go. Question 16, uh, we're looking at parametric integration and we're told that x is equal to 8 sine squared t and y is equal to 2 sine 2t plus 3 sine t and we have that t is between 0 and pi over 2. We're going to need to integrate between 0 and 4 in x. So we are going to start off by writing down the formula for parametric integration which is that it's the integral of y dx by dt dt. So I'm going to start with my x parametric equation which is 8 sine squared t yep and I'm going to differentiate that so dx by dt is going to equal um, 2 multiplied by uh, 8 is 16 sine t drop the power down to make 1 and then multiplied by the derivative will be cos t okay so that's my dx by dt and what I or else the next thing I need to do is I need to change the limits so our limits are 4 and 0 in x but I need to integrate now with respect to t so I'm going to write x here um, 4 0 and I need to convert those into t values well let's start by setting 4 is equal to x and x is also equal to 8 sine squared t so therefore a half is equal to sine squared t so therefore we have uh, 1 over root 2 is equal to sine t um, plus or minus of course And let's take the positive uh, first. So we'll get that t is equal to sine to the minus 1 of 1 over root 2. And we know that's equal to uh, pi over 4. If I were to take the negative, that would give me a negative pi over 4, which is not going to be in the uh, region. So I only need to use the, the positive one. Um, and I say because, remember, we need to have t value between 0 and pi over 2. So this one is pi over 4. And next we can uh, check what happens when the x is 0. We're going to get 8 sine squared t. Um, divide through, which is going to give me 0, is equal to sine squared t. Square rooting is going to give me 0, is equal to sine t. And of course this gives me that t is equal to um, 0. Okay, great. Uh, in fact, actually, they already tell us that it's going to be zero there, so I didn't need to do that. Okay, um, so now I've got my t values. Um, I've got my dx by dt. I can just substitute into my formula now. So we are integrating uh, with respect to t, so that's between now pi over 4 and 0. We have y, and y is 2 sine 2t plus 3t. So 2 sine 2t plus 3 sine t. Uh, yep, that's good. And we are multiplying that by dx by dt, which is 16 sine t cos t. And that is with respect to t. OK. Um, now we need to do some, uh, some rearranging. Uh, in order for us to get to um, where we need to get to. So, first of all, let's multiply out the brackets. So I'm going to get um, 32 sine 2t sine t cos t plus 48 sine squared cos t now is that anything like what we want uh, well I've got that 48 sine squared 
cos t. So this bit is already done, that's perfect. So expanding this out, we know that sine uh, 2t is equal to 2 sine t cos t from our double angle formula. So this is going to give us 64 um, and then we're going to have a sine and another sine, so sine squared and we have a cos and another cos, so cos squared okay and this part here looks very much like a sine 2t so let's just uh, on the side here write that sine of 2t is equal to 2 sine t cos t and if I were to square both sides what would that give me it would give me 4 sine squared t cos squared t and then if I was to times both sides by 16 I would get 16 sine squared 2t is equal to 64 sine squared t cos squared t so let's change that now because I know this is 16 sine squared 2t and then we've still got this part here which we already know is good to go okay now let's when when it's quite tricky to figure out how to rearrange let's look at what we're trying to find which is 8 minus 8 cos 4t and perhaps write that down the side so 8 minus 8 cos 4t okay and before we get to that we can look at um, well what is cos 2t um, particularly in terms of sine because we want to convert it into a sine at some point so we know that's 1 minus 2 sine squared t like that now if I change that input to a 4t I just double the input so I have to double the input over here so that becomes 2t like that now let's rearrange this to make um, 2 squared uh, 2 sine squared t the subject so I get 1 minus cos 40 and then if I multiply that by 8 I get 16 sine squared 2t is equal to 8 minus 8 cos 40 and there we go we have it so that is exactly what we need to uh, write in here so we have 8 minus 8 cos 4t plus this 48 sine squared cos t dt uh, and all of our working is, is clearly is clearly shown down the side there okay and now I suspect we need to actually work out what the area of R is so we just need to do this integration okay firstly 8 integrates to 8t and um, cos of 4t uh, times by 8 minus that sorry minus 8 cos 40 the integral of um, well we have sine to cos to minus sine to minus cos so minus cos goes up integrates to minus sine and the input is 4 so we need to divide by the derivative of that so dividing by 4 just gives you 2 so it's minus 2 sine 4t okay and now we need to use um, an integration technique here so we need to look at this function here which is the uh, which is sine squared so it's raised to a power and it's next to the derivative of that function sine so what I could do down the side here is I can say let y equal sine cubed t so I'm upping the power of the yellow function there by 1 to get sine cubed t and then when I differentiate that 
Well, the free will come down to get free, and the power will drop to become a 2, and I'd have to multiply by the derivative, which would be cos t. Now, how similar is that to our, um, what I'm actually trying to integrate? Well, it's out by a factor of 16, so ideally I would multiply that by 16 to get what I needed. So I should have multiplied the guess by 16. So as this here differentiates to that, I know that this down the bottom integrates to what my guess was. And that is what I'm trying to integrate. So my answer is 16 sine cubed t. So that's plus 16 sine cubed t. And that is between pi over 4 and 0. OK, so we need to evaluate each, each uh, term. So the first one, pi over 4 times 8 is just 2 pi. Um, the next one is pi over 4 times 4, which is pi. Sine of pi is 0, so that cancels. And here we've got pi over 4 um, uh, sine is uh, 1 over root 2, or root 2 over 2, cubed. So I might do this one on my calculator, just so I don't avoid making any mistakes. So I would do sine of pi over 4, and that would give me root 2 over 2, perfect. I would then cube that to get root 2 over 4, and I'll times that by 16, and I'll get 4 root 2. So plus 4 root 2. And then I have to take away um, when these are 0. So 8 times 0 is 0. Um, sine of 0 is 0. And again, sine of 0 is 0, so I'm taking away nothing there. So my final answer is 2 pi plus 4 root 2. Perfect.